What's up, Zoomers? Bright and early on a Saturday morning here in the middle of the woods. I want to talk about something that people often ask me about, and that is so-called Linux evangelism. Now, as it ends up, I do a lot of videos on my channel on Linux, several hundreds at this point. But, uh, you know, every once in a while, someone will ask me to do a video on how to convince people to use Linux or you know, what are, what the top five best things about Linux and top ten reasons to switch from Windows to Linux or Mac to Linux or something like that. And I've never done it and I probably won't ever do it. Now I've done, I, I know I've done one video on why I personally do not like Mac OS, but um, when it comes to Linux evangelism, I'll just say I am not a big fan of it. Now, not, not because I'm not, uh, I, I do think that the world would be a better place, so to speak, if more people were using free operating systems, Linux being one of them, but, you know, I'm also pretty ambivalent to BSD or anything else. Um, but I, I just don't think that Linux evangelism is effective or, or useful, if those are different things. Let me explain why. Now, one of the facts about, you know, one of the things about the absolute state of modern society is that for better or for worse, or probably for worse, people have this kind of sociological identity with the kind of computer they use. Mac users have it, Windows users have it, Linux users have it. And what I mean by that is, let's say I'm a Windows user, and that's what I, you know, why do I use Windows? Frankly, I use it because, you know, that's what I've done since I was born. That's what everyone uses. Windows is the most common OS, and that means a lot of things are written on win written for Windows, like video games, yada, yada, yada. You know the deal. And so I use Windows because I'm familiar with it. Now, I, you might be able to successfully persuade a part of my brain that Linux is better to use because it is, you know, Libre software. It is uh, also free of cost. It's, you know, more, a lot of it is better maintained. A lot of it, you know, is more secure, yada, whatever rational reasons or non-rational reasons. I could be convinced at s in some part of my brain to use Linux, but there is a sense in which if you use an operating system, any, any kind of operating system, you identify with it in some deep way. So if I'm a Windows user and a Linux evangelist comes up to me and tells me all the reasons that Windows is stupid, there's a sense in which I am going to be personally offended. My heart is going to go pitter-patter because... You know, there's a sense, you're, the Linux evangelist is sort of telling me, the Windows user, that I'm doing something stupid, or I'm being taken for a chump, or something like that. And that is something that is emotionally harmful to people. Now, I don't really care about emotional harm or something like that, but I mean it in the sense of if, you're thinking of, if you're thinking of it in terms of what is an effective strategy to, conv to convince people to use Linux, that doesn't really work. Even if you're trying to be very nice, um, if you go to a Mac user and will tell them, oh, you can do this all on Linux or something like that, um, they are going to make up the most asinine reasons for why they have to use, oh, the track point is just so great, or the tr trackpad is great on Apple devices, you, you Linux users, you just don't know, and you have to look at it in, in the terms of most of what people are doing when they're justifying what OS they use, or even what distribution they use in Linux are sort of, I mean, they're just rationalizations. They're just sort of, you know, people feel a little bit offended when they're not using the best thing. So sometimes they make up reasons for it. Now, I'm not, I'm not calling, I'm not, you know, calling everyone irrational, uh, or I'm especially not calling people who use Windows or Mac irrational because Linux users work the same way when they're talking about different distributions. Um, you know, a lot of Linux users obsess over the minute differences when, between distros when really it doesn't really matter that much. Now, I say this because if, you know, let's say, uh, well, actually, this is true. I, I do think that it would be nice if more people used Linux or other free operating systems. I think that that, you know, if more people due to my channel use Linux or other free operating systems, I consider that a good thing. But I will never do a Linux evangelism video because that sort of offends the ego of people. What I do do on my channel is... Uh, you know, I, I live by the mantra, I guess, I, it, well, mantra, it's a quote associated to Jesus, um, that uh, you should let them know you, you by your fruits. And what that means is, instead of explaining to people why Linux is so great, I would prefer to just show them what you can do on Linux. And that is for multiple reasons. One, it's an argument in itself. You are, you know... 
people who use uh, Mac OS or Windows are often afraid of the things that they think that you can't do on Linux or something like that. Or, um, you know, they use this program for their uh, music player and they know it doesn't exist, exist on Linux. So they conclude that you can't play music on Linux. That, that's the, the mindset that or the, the you know, ra rational sequence they go through sometimes. Um, but when if you just show people what you can do, it's an argument in itself, and also it doesn't offend anyone's ego. I can do a video on some program on Linux, and no Mac user is going to get offended by that, um, or, or anything like that. It's, that's just not really how people work. It allays their fears, and it also shows them the kind of things that Linux uh, can do. So that's my perspective. I do, as I said, I, I do think that, that Linux, I, I think it'd be nicer if people used it more. Um, for pretty much everyone, people would be more secure, more private, more free in the software sense, and they'd also have to spend less money. Um, but I, again, my strategy is to just to show them the good of it. Now, there's another thing about, I mean, aside from this sort of egotistical side, the, the social identity uh, sense in which we identify with our distributions or our operating systems, there's another sense, sense in which people are just not familiar with Linux. They don't know how to do things. So if you explain to them in prose about all the stuff you can do, it's not really going to work out. That's why, again, I do what I do. I make tutorials on things for Linux users and non-Linux users. Now, l let me give you an example. When I started using Linux, um, I think at the, the period I was using Ubuntu or something like that, um, I, I started using Linux full-time, and I was in this mindset, which nearly every person who switches to Linux is in, where their first goal is trying to totally replicate what they had on Windows or Mac OS on Linux. So for example, on Windows, there's this particular program that I really liked, and a lot of you guys, I'm sure, who use Windows like, and it's called FUBAR2000. It's a very nice music player. It's proprietary, but it's very nice, very customizable, much more customizable than most Microsoft programs, or I mean, it's not a Microsoft program, but it runs on Windows. Um, and when I started using Linux, I was in the Ubuntu app repository and I checked all the graphical environment music players and I didn't like any of them. I, they just, you know, Clementine or whatever, maybe you guys like those things, but you know, I, I just didn't like any of them. So what I ended up doing is just installing FUBAR 2000 through Wine. Took a long time to figure out how to do that, especially as a novice Linux user, but that's what I did. And that is absurd. Uh, the reality is when you're switching an operating system, there is, you, you, it's naive to try and replicate exactly what you're doing on another system. Because if you really want to get what there is to get out of Linux, you have to do it the Linux way. Um, now, for example, I use the music player, totally unpronounceable, what is it? N-C-M-P-C-P-P. -P -P. That's what it is. <laughs> Forget what that sent, in curses something or other. Uh, that's the music player I use with uh, the music player Damon, and it is much better than FUBAR. I would never use FUBAR again. I can't believe I used that program. It is nothing in comparison to what I have now. It has a tag editor, a huge library, you can look through things by their file directories. It's fantastic. It's the best music player program I've ever used in my life, and I wouldn't switch to anything else. But if I had been in that mindset where I'm constantly trying to do Windows things on Linux, I would have never found it. And so that, that's my advice, advice to people. One is, if you want to convince people uh, to switch to Linux, one thing you just have to get through your head is that you're not just going to sit them down and convince them. They have to be really autistic to actually think about things like that. Normal people, if you want to convince them, just show them what you can do. Make them jealous of your computer and make it look easy, you know? Um, and the second thing is, you know, when you are using Linux, if you're a novice Linux user and you're just trying to get things figured out, don't try and just recreate Windows or Mac OS on Linux. Uh, there is a bunch of, um, you know, commonalities between what you can do on Mac OS and Linux, but even then, you know, it's just different. Like, experiment with something new and you'll realize extremely quickly that it's actually way easier this way. There are the amount of, you know, there are these big programs that are written for you know, Windows and Apple, these huge corporate programs and suites and all this stuff. But on Linux, you know, there's so, you know, every single repo on GitHub has just all these great things that you can try out. And once you get in that mindset of, uh, you know, using Linux as Linux, it is much, much better than using uh, Windows or Apple. So I encourage you um, 
so anyway, just do that. that. That's what I'm trying to say. And that's why, again, I'm not going to do... I might do a video on, uh, you know, ways that new users can approach Linux or something like that, but I am not going to assail someone's ego by telling them they're dumb, or even not even saying they're dumb, or even just saying, oh, it would be better if you use Linux because XYZ. I am not going to tell you. I'm going to show you. That is it. So anyway, Zoomers, I will see you guys next time. And I don't know, hope you learned something or whatever. I, I, you know, you have to have something that you always say at the end of videos. I'm still trying to figure mine out, but I'll see you guys next time.